Uh, welcome to the Raspberry Pi Station tutorial. Um, I'm going to go step by step through how to build the Raspberry Pi Station, which I'm showing here. Uh, the first step is the disassembly of the PS1. So, um, to do that, you're going to want to flip it over, take out the parallel I.O. cover, uh, hold cover. And then there is six quick screws. So just there, 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 and there, and there. And I'll just go ahead and take those out. Okay, so when the screws are out, flip it over. And then just lift the top off. And the top bit's just mechanical, it's just the eject button and then the the but these two buttons here. And then we get into here. Um, now when we're putting this apart you're gonna be wanna gonna wanna be careful because we're gonna be using this switch here and this switch here. This is the power switch and this is the reset button switch. So go ahead, pull out the controller flex. Um, the circuit board power flex optical whoops optical drive flex cable the brown one then this one here um, that's going to remove the optical drive so just put these bits to the side don't throw them away just in case we want them for later and take out the other end of the circuit board flex plastic thing here just get a bit of force onto it it's unimportant so just put it to the side take off this then with the controller ports screw here screw here so I'm going to go ahead and take this out Now these are really important so definitely don't throw these away and make sure you keep these screws just going to put that to the side and then for the next level of taking off this metal plate to get to the circuit board screw here, here, here and here Alright, so when those screws are out, just go ahead and lift that off, be careful, and put that to the side. And now we get to the main circuit board, so there's a screw here, 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 and here, and yep, those should be the only screws for the circuit board, so I'm going to go ahead and take those out. Alright, so when those are out, just go ahead and lift off the circuit board. Um, don't throw this away, just put it to the side. And just, we may use these again, so put that to the side. Make sure not to break anything and just put it over here. Take out this metal plate. And uh, take out this metal plate, but keep that because it's part of the controller ports. You don't need them, it just helps um, the build of the console. So now all we have left is our power board. So we are going to have to unscrew this, but we are going to keep this in. So be careful with it once again, don't break it. And the screws are just here and here. So you want to go ahead undo these screws circuit boards out and just put that to the side
And now we have our chassis, I suppose you could call it, of the PlayStation with no electrical parts. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, clean the inside. Alright, uh, next step is to get the power board which we're going to use. And this is optional, but just to make it a cleaner build. Desolder everything except for this switch here, this switch here, the LED, and just leave that on too. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do all that. Right, so now that the board's all nice and nice looking and desoldered, we're going to be um, putting this cord on to the switch so we can uh, power the Raspberry Pi. And in the finished product, not going to have the USB sticking out of the back. Um, the part that I'll show you later in the tutorial, or actually just on the end of this, but hasn't come yet. So um, in this demonstration, I'm just going to have the USB cord coming out the end, but. Um, actually going to have a uh, two mini USBs in each of those holes just there so um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and so we've got the cord um, before you use the cord make sure you test it just make sure it's working so you don't do all this think it's not working and then it's just the cord so I'm um, gonna want to cut the cord in half um, I've got pretty rubbish tools so I'm just gonna be using a knife but you use uh, whatever you have so, probably want, oh, actually just to measure it, get your um, PlayStation and I'm going to have the Pi sitting here I think, so I want enough cord to just screw to about there and, oh it's about halfway so, yep, just cut your cord wherever you're comfortable that you have enough to power the Pi and then also for whatever you have on the thing. So cut that. Um, now that it's cut, um, crimp the wires on both ends. So use a crimping tool, or if you like me without one, just use your knife. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So once that got that off, pull off the shield if there is one, and um, it's going to be a power only cable, so any USB cable, black is the ground or the negative um, power, red is the voltage cable or positive power, so that's for DC, and then these two, um, one's data and one's start out, uh, I can't remember which is which, but we're not using those at the moment, so um, just go and trim those two off, make sure you cut off the right ones, so you just have the, the red and the black, and then do the same with the other end. Make sure once again that you only cut off the green and the white, not the red and the black, or you're going to have to crimp the cable again. 
sorry, I've just got the cutting board over there. Um, so once you have these two, I'm going to go ahead and then crimp both of those wires. So I'm going to go ahead and do that.